Honorable uh, Speaker, I, I want to thank the Honorable Member, uh, uh, Honorable Govind, for asking this question. <coughs> Primarily for two reasons, uh, Honorable Speaker. First is, Honorable Speaker, in my ministerial statement, you may have heard, I had alluded to that we are releasing new breeds of cattle. Now, Honorable Speaker, now, a releasing of new breeds of cattle, which is high yielding, high carcass, high milk producing breeds, will be an excise in futility if we don't eradicate our farms from these two diseases, brucellosis and tuberculosis. So, Honorable Speaker, this is really high on our agenda. We need to, we need to clean up our farms where we're going to deliver these animals, because if we don't clean up, <coughs> These animals will go and get infected again, and we will lose these animals again, this new breed. And secondly, Honorable Speaker, these diseases, brucellosis and TB, tuberculosis, are zoonotic diseases, you know, meaning that it can be uh, 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 infected from uh, animals to humans. So we, we need to really get this off our farms. But Honorable Speaker, this is not something we can do it in a month, a year, or ten years. But in Australia, they had it for 80 years, and the 40th year, they started investing with a plan. And it took them 40 years. It's the only country in, in the world to eradicate brucellosis and TB from their uh, farm. It took them 40 years with massive investment. Honorable Speaker, we have started. Uh, <clears throat> it, it's a huge, massive challenge. Uh, it was detected. <coughs> In most provinces in Fiji over the years, uh, the current BTEC program, BTEC meaning brucellosis and TB eradication uh, program, it encourages farmers to cooperate uh, with our ministry and the Biosecurity Authority of Fiji. <coughs> um, so it, it, it not only um, it consists of going down and testing the animals and culling them but also awareness and education about the importance of uh, availing their farms for testing and, and giving up of those animals. Um, Honorable Speaker, we, um, uh, the uh, Ministry of Agriculture and the Biosecurity Authority of Fiji has uh, uh, declared an emergency for bovine and brucellosis in Fiji. And uh, the, uh, having declared this as an emergency, it has now uh, given us the powers to go uh, enter the farms and uh, do the test. Uh, most of the BTEC program, most of the in, in the early, st early stages, uh, was carried out l last year in, in the central division, because this is where we got most of the uh, uh, the TB detected. In 2018, <coughs> last year. We extended the testing to the uh, Western and Northern Division. Last year, we uh, tested 33,839 uh, cattle, and uh, out of that, 1,681 uh, were uh, gave signs of positive, positive signs. Uh, and out of the 20, uh, 22,019 cattle tested, 31 was for brucellosis. So. Uh, 1, 6, so uh, of the total 33,839, 1,681 were positive for TB, and uh, uh, 22,000 were um, uh, and 31, uh, 22,000 tested for brucellosis. 31 were positive. Um, initially, we had uh, 10 trained BTEC staff uh, who undertook uh, BT, uh, TB and uh, brucellosis. Uh, testing of the cattle heads on a day-to-day -day basis under, under the supervision of our three veterinarians. Uh, as I said, now we have got four uh, vets and in the, we are in the process of hiring one more vet. So when we're talking about vet, Honorable Speaker, we're talking about fully qualified vet with a six-year veterinary science degree. We, uh, we in addition, to, so we will, uh, we have now four in, in a probably a month's time or so, we will have the fifth one. And then, uh, in addition to that, we got 30 paravets. Uh, these are uh, not fully, fully qualified vets, but these are paravets, let's say diploma in agriculture, etc. But they've been given specialized training to undertake the testing work. So, 
under the supervision of uh, the qualified vet. Um, Honorable Speaker, uh, we, um, we are also uh, working very closely with the um, uh, Biosecurity Authority of Fiji, have acquired uh, a special uh, permit to assign our train <coughs> uh, the officers to undertake the te testing uh, this temporary biosecurity officers certification so which gives us the legal powers to go and enter our farm and undertake the test honorable speaker <coughs> there was an issue in iran about compensation to the farmers initially um, farmers uh, initially uh, under the law uh, there was, uh, we didn't, uh, the farmers were paid uh, based on whatever the proper meat and uh, they were there to look for their own buyer. The moment, the moment in the market they'll say someone, the carcass is partially infected, then you know people will really not won't come forward. So uh, now uh, Ministry of Agriculture have allocated uh, the full budget uh, to uh, PG Meat Industry Board, four dollars per kg. They will take it to the uh, Fiji Meat Industry Board. The Fiji Meat Industry Board we will will uh, pay them uh, four dollars flat, and Ministry will compensate for any loss of the carcass remaining. The Ministry will pay them if they are not able to sell it because you know uh, they no one buys, wants to buy it. Oh, pa part is totally condemned meat. So these are the developments which has uh, allowed us to speed up uh, the uh, testing of animals in the farm. We now have the right to enter our farm and test the animal. And uh, so these problems were identified and dealt with. Last year there was legislation to change the compensation of the farmers, but that has assisted us greatly. So what I'm saying, uh, Honorable Speaker, is that with the uh, appointment of two new vet, uh, raising the number of vet to five, with the uh, appointment of ten additional DTEC officers, with the uh, authority by biosecurity, uh, uh, authority of Fiji for our uh, officers to have the legal status, we will now speed up the testing of animals throughout Fiji in all the three divisions uh, for any uh, uh, animal which are positive to be TB and brucellosis. We will call them out and we'll clean our farms and hopefully uh, it will be safe for us to get the new breeds into the farm. Thank you.